prefer to do you prefer as a DJ? Do you prefer to do large venues or do you like to do more smaller, intimate venues? Because I went to the Warriors game and I forgot the DJ's name, but he's um he DJs I think at the radio station here and he he normally does the Warriors games and he had the in that arena is sharp doing, doing, yeah sharp yeah sharp yeah sorry, yeah sharp. and so he does the the arena uh, um. DJ sets and that set was like crazy. You know, he was on the floor. Yeah. He's just doing a crazy set. You know what I mean? He and, and it's, it's like the, the the crowd was like coming in, so you really wasn't like all the way into it. But I'm listening to it because I've heard him yeah. do a set before, and so I'm like, wow, this guy's really like going in on the DJ set right now. Like they don't yeah. even understand the music that he's playing, but he has a crazy yeah. set. So, do you prefer those large venues versus smaller venues? Man, and I'm glad you said Sharp because that's somebody I should have mentioned in that last uh, group of names I was mentioning. Is like somebody that I definitely learned from. But yeah, no, nah, I, I, to say I prefer one over the other, it's just honestly they just different because at the end of the day, it's you, it's these two decks, and it's the output of music that you got coming out of there. Like with the larger venues, it's harder. It's harder to read the crowd, and it's obviously a bigger sample size of people to. Uh, to choose from so it's a little bit harder but at the same time it's like you could still like feel that feel, oops, excuse me feel that energy from uh from either one like i love the intimate sets because you can like uh really like vibe with the people but then at the same time like uh the only the biggest thing i probably did is like the stanford football games and shout out to d sharp helped me uh <laughs> get in there that's what's up um uh but yeah, so, like, that was crazy, like, playing for a whole stadium of people. Like, you can't really, like, it's hard to explain that it's feeling, probably hard to like, It's probably hard to gauge it because you got, like I said, the, the age gap is so large and the demographic exactly. is so different that you just got to kind of just go. So when you have something like that, do you have just have a, a set of songs that you're going to just go straight to that you like, hey, these are my songs that I'm going to play. I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna get out, no matter what, no matter what's <laughs> going on. I'm playing these songs, or are you trying to like look out in the crowd and get a couple of people and like, okay, I'm gonna kind of go this direction, or you kind of have a set like this is what I'm going with. I honestly just kind of went with like I, I did like some well with like I'll use Stanford as an example, and I've been doing uh, USF basketball, University of San Francisco basketball home games recently, and like I really just would do research and like listen to listen to music and like different songs that I felt brought the energy of a sporting event like that. There's, there's certain songs that like just have certain energies like, um, uh, and it was like a bunch of like, um, seven, uh, seven nation army by the white stripes. Like th these are like classic, like arena. That's the one that's that. Dun, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Definitely. That, yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. stuff like that. So, so like I would be, I mean, Ozzy Osbourne and like th th all these different rock songs like that I would mix with the also with the songs I would get from the players for pregame. Like because the pl in both situations, players gave me songs that they wanted uh, for pregame or like the teams want to get warmed up to. Okay. And honestly, a lot of that is in contradiction with uh, with the crowd that's there because there's a lot of <laughs> they want like the traps the uzi verts and the young yeah, NBA young yeah. boys even the clean versions of that stuff sometimes it's just like oh yeah, uh, yeah yeah that's why that's why i be wondering like when you go into the event you had to go on do you go on is there is there a place where you can go and find like nothing but clean versions of songs do, do all rappers make clean versions of songs or do they just like you got to go clean it up yourself and like mute it out and stuff how does that work yeah, so they have, like, uh, basically when you DJ, like, you can sign up for these DJ pools where they have, like, basically, I think they're associated with, like, the labels and stuff like that. So when they put out songs, you can get the clean version, the dirty version. You can get remixes and stuff like that. And they have, like, okay. the websites tailored to DJs for that. So you can download the clean version and the dirty version for, you get, a, it's like a monthly subscription, unlimited okay. downloads, and then... Yeah, so I so that I, I definitely I'm depending on like those subscriptions, making sure I can get the clean versions because I would spend way too much time trying to uh, trying to clean, clean up, up those songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>